Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another music news video. Co um, Mayhem co-founder... <music> ...confirms 2015 is the last year of the tour. Basically, this tour was started in 2008. After eight years, the Mayhem Fest is over. Mayhem Fest started as an alternative Oz Fest and eventually pushed the festival out of business. But now, it, took, it looks as if it's suffering the same fate. After disappointing ticket sales this year and a big PR mistake by the co-founder, basically it ran itself out of business. And I'll say this, it was supposed to be a um, competitor to uh, OzFest and it basically put OzFest out of business. Um, I think sometimes it might be the bands they're choosing, it might be the tickets that are uh, too high. Um, when you go to uh, Rockville 20, uh, like just Rockville in general, I went to 13 and I went to the 14th um, Rockville and they're about 40, 50 bucks. And some people don't want to spend 40 or 50 bucks for uh, bands, but at the end of the day, I really think um, 40 or 50 bucks to see multiple bands like Korn, Disturbed, Limp Bizkit, Ozzy, Metallica, whatever the lineup is is uh tremendous but uh they said the pr um basically the way they marketed the 2015 event was uh kind of horrible and i'll say this mayhem festival if i'm not mistaken wasn't even in florida so you couldn't even see it here and i know some of the festivals that are out there summer sledge aren't even in florida this year which is kind of crazy because Florida has a big metal scene, and Florida, to me, doesn't seem to get a lot of uh, metal concerts, but I will definitely link it in the uh, description box, and you guys can definitely see the full article. This leaves a pretty large void in the summer touring market for metal. Will the promoters launch a new branded tour in its place, or will another promoter come along and take charge for a new festival. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <clears throat> which I agree. We have Rockville in uh, Florida. Which is uh, Northern Florida's uh, two day festival. It's not, a, it's not a touring festival. It's just a one or two day festival. Which it's just started the last couple years. Being two years. And they have tons of bands. From like Disturbed. Um, Godsmack. Limbiscuit. Hatebreed, Slipknot, all these bands have played here, but it's a cool thing to see these kind of festivals, but if they're all going away, what are metal fans going to look for? To be honest with you, we, we have nothing. No Ozfest, no uh, Summer Sledge, that might not be here anymore, and no Rockstar Energy Mayhem Fest. So, just want to give you my opinion. I think it's a great festival. I think OzFest was one of the greatest festivals of all time. I went there twice. I met a bunch of bands. I've seen a bunch of bands. And just going to a festival like that is something enjoyable. So, as always, I am Trevor. Remember to rate, even if you hate, comment, and subscribe. And that is another episode of Music News. I'm out of here, baby.